in this video we'll be finding the l r one items for the given grammar and check if it is c l r or not by constructing the passing table so here um let me start with construction of uh, the argumented grammar from the given grammar so i'll consider this the given grammar as g and i'll i'll number these productions this is the first production second third fourth fifth and sixth so i have numbered the productions my first step is to i should start from the production of the form s dash derives dot s comma and dollar so here dollar is the look ahead and my aim is to write it in this form s dot comma dollar that is to shift the dot from starting to the rightmost point so if i have the production a derives dot x comma and some look ahead here so after dot if i have x x is a non terminal then i should write all the possible productions i should write all the possible productions of x with dot as its prefix followed by comma as suffix and at the end i should write the look ahead after dot so let's start uh, writing the argumented grammar so argumented grammar g dash so firstly i'll start with s dash derives dot s comma dollar so s dash derives dot s comma dollar is the starting production right so after dot i have s s being a non terminal i should write all the possible uh, productions that is s derives dot a a d comma so here i have to fill the look ahead i'll fill it later s derives dot b b d comma and s derives dot a b e comma and s derives dot b dot b a e comma so in order to fill the uh, in order to fill the look ahead part here i should write the first equation that is s dash derives dot s comma dollar and compare this with a derives alpha dot b beta comma a so comparing these two i should find the first of beta and a so here first of beta would be epsilon and a would be a so first of these two i would get first of a that is dollar so for all productions derived from s i should write dollar here so let me write dollar here so i am done with i not items i'll name this as i not so over i not i have done so over i not i should write s over s this dot would shift right so it will be of the form s dash derives s dot comma dollar so i'll write this as i1 so over a small a i can write s so that i'm done with this s derives a dot a d comma dollar and here also i have a right so i can write s derives a dot b e comma dollar so i am done with uh, writing from i not now i should check after dot what do i have after dot i have a here that is a non terminal here also i have b that is a non terminal so i should write all the possible productions of a so a derives dot c comma here i should write the here i should write the look ahead so in order to write the look ahead let me consider this the equation that is s derives a dot a d comma dollar comparing this with a derives alpha dot b beta comma a so first of beta that is d comma dollar first of d comma dollar is um first of d comma dollar i would get d so i would write so i would write d here and similarly here also a derives dot c comma e because i have obtained it from the second production so i have obtained this from this and now i have obtained this from this so let me put them in a box and number them as i2 productions and over b i have over b i have two uh, productions here that is s derives b dot b d comma dollar this one and this one s derives b dot a e comma dollar similarly here also uh, b derives c so for uh, here it's b sorry here a derives for this I, if i write a derives c comma e and b derives dot c comma d these are my i three productions now i should further write them so in order to write them further i'll consider i2 so after dot i have a here so over a i can write s derives a a dot d comma dollar after dot i have a terminal so i i need not split it i'll write this as i4 so over b i can write s derives a b dot e comma dollar i'll take this as i5 and then over c i have 
a derives c dot comma d a derives c dot comma e so i'll consider this as i6 here i have over b i can write s derives b b dot d comma dollar i'll take this as i7 and over capital a i get i write s derives b a dot e comma dollar i'll take this as i8 and over c i write s derives c dot comma e a derives c dot comma d so if you look at i'll write this as i9 so if you look at i6 and i9 you might think it's same but then there's a variation a derives c dot comma d a derives c dot comma e so they both are different okay next coming to uh, i4 here over d you can shift the dot right so you can write s derives a a d dot comma dollar and consider this this was i9 so i'll consider this as i10 and here over small e i can write s derives a b e dot comma dollar and i'll consider this as i11 i6 can't be written further because it is of the uh, aim which we wanted right i7 i can write here over d i can i get s derives b b d dot comma dollar i'll take this as i12 and here over e i write s derives b a e dot comma dollar i'll consider this as i13 so i am done with uh, construction of argumented grammar my next step would be to draw the clr passing tree so here i have constructed the passing table with action comprising of all the terminals and go to comprising of all the non terminals and here i have written down all the items from i0 to i13 so now i'll start filling the table so firstly i have from i0 over s i get i1 i0 over s i get i1 so i'll write one here and i0 over small a a is a terminal here i0 over a i would get i2 i0 over a i would get i2 here this is a terminal coming in action part so i'll write shift of 2 then i0 over b i write s3 and i'm done with i0 now checking i1 so i1 is of the form s derives dot s s derives s dot comma dollar so if if you have any production of this form then you should write in in the place of that particular cell and dollar write accept so it is an i1 right so i1 and dollar i should write accept here so i am done with i1 now checking for i2 i2 over capital a i2 over capital a i have i4 i2 over capital b i have i5 i2 over small c i have i6 small c is a non term is a terminal we have to remember that so in the place of here i should write s6 so i am done with i2 now coming to i3 i3 over b i3 over b i would get 7 i3 over a i would get 8 and i3 over c i would get s9 coming to i4 i4 over d i would get s10 i4 over d write s10 i5 over e write s11 i5 over e write s11 i6 no i7 over d write s12 i7 over d write s12 i7 i7 i8 over e i8 over e write s13 so i am done with uh, writing the shift writing the shift and uh, go to part now I, I need to look into the reduce part so in, in order to look into reduce part uh, any production of the form a derives alpha dot comma a then you can write in action part you can write that production number comma whatever is left in look ahead is equal to reduce of a derives alpha here the production number would be considered so so here if i write for uh, i6 if i write for i6 it would be i1 i can't write because here one more condition is there that a should not be the start symbol so i1 can't be considered i2 can't be considered i3 no i4 is not possible i5 is not possible i6 is possible so in i6 i can write a derives c dot comma d so it is of the form a derives c dot comma d so i'll write this is the sixth production right i6 so i can write six comma here d is there in look ahead is equal to a derives c a derives c is the fifth production right r5 like this similarly i'll write for all others so a derives c dot comma e a derives c dot comma e here also i have six comma e is equal so a derives c dot comma e can be written as this is the i6 production right so six comma look ahead i have e is equal to a derives c a derives c is the fifth production so i'll write r5 so i'm done with i6 moving on to i9 now so in i9 i have a derives c dot comma e so i can write six com nine comma e because ninth production and e is a look ahead is equal to r a derives c is r5 next i have a derives c dot comma d 
a derives c dot comma d can be written as 9 comma d is equal to a derives c is the fifth production so i'll write r5 here so i'm done with i6 and i9 so coming to i10 i11 i12 i13 i have four more so i'll write for i10 now so for i10 it will be s derives a a d comma a a d comma dot dollar i can write 10 comma dollar is equal to s derives a a d a a d is r1 right so i'll write r1 here so for i11 i can write s derives a b e dot comma dollar so 11 comma dollar is there at the end dollar is equal to a b e a b e production is third right so i'll write r3 here for i12 i can write 12 comma s derives b d b b d dot comma dollar so dollar is there in the look ahead 12 comma dollar is equal to b d b is derived in r2 right so i'll write r2 here i'm done with 10 11 12 now i have r13 the final one i'll write 13 first the production number the item number followed by that s derives b a e dot comma dollar dollar is there in look ahead so i'll write dollar here is equal to s derives b a e b a e is in the fourth production so i'll write r4 here so i'm done with finding uh, the reduce of uh, all the items so i'll start with uh, i6 that is 6 comma d i should write r5 6 comma d right r5 i'm done with this 6 comma e r5 6 comma e r5 9 comma e r5 9 comma e r5 9 comma d r5 9 comma d r5 10 comma dollar 10 comma dollar right r1 done 11 comma dollar right r3 12 comma dollar right r2 13 comma dollar right r4 so if you check so if you look at this uh, the passing table there are no multiple entries here no multiple entries no conflicts occurring in a uh, single cell so we can say that the given grammar is clr so we can confirm that the given grammar is clr so i hope you have understood how to find uh, how to find the lr1 items and check if the given grammar is clr or not if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you